Hello, I'm Damian Leish of uh, Parallel North and Lake Charlevoix News doing another sit down with Scott McKenzie. We're just going to be giving you a rundown of the upcoming events and a little bit about the past Dining for Paws. Scott, hey, hey, how on, man? hey, thanks for having me on. Hey, always a pleasure to have you here. What happened? How was the program? Well, I'll Dining tell you what, the, the Dining for Paws, I've had nothing uh, but wonderful feedback from all the folks that attended the event. Uh, folks participated in dinner parties, and then they all uh, wrapped up at the uh, Charlevoix Country Club Shanahan Barn mm -hmm. uh, for the big gala after brawl, and uh, and it was a blast. Yeah, I got, we came out and got some great pictures. Uh, the band always uh, nice and tight, yeah, clean. Yeah. I like that. And the the heads to tail game was cool. That was a lot. Of yeah, fun. I yeah. loved the fact that the little kids won. The, the little girl yeah. and yeah. Uh, they would come down to those two. See the two girls. Yeah, and, and the one that broke her heart when she didn't win. That, that was, was great. <laughs> and I liked the fact that it looked like people were kind of almost like changing their their heads to tails <laughs> there in the middle of it too. Rascals. Which yeah, that's always a fun game. It really gets the crowd involved. <laughs> But I'll tell you, without, without the help from uh, Fox Charlevoix, uh, they were our leader of the pack sponsors, uh, which helped cover the expense of the venue. And uh, the Charlevoix Country Club gave us an unbelievable deal on using the entire facility. Uh, they supplied all the bartenders and the staff and helped decorate, and uh, they were great. And then the Bay Harbor Foundation, uh, they pitched in and covered for the expense of the band. So uh, wow, that's a really nice, it was a really cool, that's the first time I've ever been out there. I like that. What an amazing venue, isn't it? I, I think got a really nice job on the space yeah. in there, yeah. and you could utilize that for a, a lot of things. You could. There's a lot of room. A lot of room. Nice. And, and that's why, even next year, you know, we, we probably had 350 people came to the course of the evening. Uh, you could fit 1,000 people. Oh, yeah. There was plenty of room. Yeah. room. There was a lot of room. Even even when you had everybody up yeah. doing the heads to tails, yeah. there was a lot of room. Yeah. And some of the guys were... Uh, that's the hayloft part. There. Yeah. That's where... Okay. Yeah. That's where uh, where the band was set up and where we played the games and the dancing was going on. There's uh, some cocktail tables and uh, that that's pretty much the party room. And then down in the big part, that's where all the food and uh, the desserts were all lined up. So it was a great event and uh, we raised about $7,500 uh, to help support the mission of the Charlotte Boy Humane Society. Right, great, man. Thanks everybody who came out and if you missed it, We'll be staying tuned for that to come on what next year. We're going to do it again next year, and I hope that we'll just double the number of dinner parties. And pretty soon, I believe it's going to be the must attend party of the, uh, of the season. Well, it, it was a yeah. great party. I yeah. mean, I, I mean, if you didn't make it there, we got videos and pictures of it. You can hashtag the dining for pause, yeah. and we'll keep that going so that it'll be just its own world for that. So what's next on the hit parade? Well, well next, up, next up we've got uh, our annual fun, family-friendly tradition, and you bring your dogs with you. It's called. Oh, I'm sorry. You're looking at the Super Bowl. I well, I just see that. Yeah. I was to take a look at that. No, like, that, actually, that's the same time. They're both. They're both on October third. So that was a little teaser for. <laughs> yeah, I like that. The uh, the Super Bowl uh, raffle. Uh, we're selling. Our goal was to sell a thousand. What's that? Let me take it off. You want to take it off? Our goal was to sell a thousand of these tickets right here. Wow. Uh, and we're not, we're not going to get anywhere near there. I think we'll be lucky if we sell 500. So uh, our goal was to sell a thousand tickets at 50 bucks a piece. But if we sell the 500, we're giving away a trip for two, airfare for two, round trip to San Francisco, four nights lodging at the Hyatt or Marriott or something very similar right downtown San Francisco, ground transportation, all the pregame festivities, and two tickets. To the 2016 Super Bowl. Man, I tell you what, I would, like I said, I'd love to do the media. I'll stay in a cardboard box. I'm cool <laughs> with that. Um, well, no, I mean, I'm very, very, every time I share that post, I'm like, man, it'd be Lions in the Super Bowl. Lions in the Super Bowl. Well, you know, they, 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 they got to win some games. Yeah, I, I know. It's, but it's they're, not they're, preseason anymore. Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're what, what wasn't preseason. Uh, the, the, the last game was a legit, right? Yeah, that's, that's why we lost, lost it. Okay. You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. Come on, But guys. they played well. They played well. It was sure. great until the few minutes of the fourth quarter. Yeah. <laughs> but so this is going to be great, and this is the first time we've done this. So our uh, we're pretty darn sure we're going to be, you know, we had it set up so that we would be doing a 50-50 if we didn't sell enough tickets. We're mm -hmm. at the point now where we're going to be giving away the, uh, the trip. So, okay. So you got real good odds right now. If you get a fifty dollar ticket, so yeah. if you're even a sports fanatic or anything, this is kind of in, in, in your wheelhouse. And even if you're not, you can go to right. San Francisco and hang out and have a blast and uh, get your airfare covered, your lodging covered, and and 
I don't know, it's probably not legal, but scalp the tickets or sell them to some sell them. We don't friend. promote illegal activity here. <laughs> you can uh, uh, give the tickets to a friend. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, With and the donational influence. <laughs> and then that could be your spending money. Yeah, for yeah. sure. <laughs> but, uh, but but once again, we're missing the, you know, it's for the pets and yeah. for the, the, the shelter and everything around that that you guys All have going All the proceeds on uh, support the mission of the Charlevoix Area Humane Society. We are a no-kill facility for yeah. adoptable animals. There's a, a lot of expense to long-term care for animals. Every animal that goes through our shelter gets all of its shots, uh, it gets uh, microchipped, it gets spayed or neutered, so it's all up to date when it goes out the door. And uh, we take a loss on every animal we send yeah, out. So, I, I know that you do. So the funds are critical. These kind of fundraising events and the, and the annual appeals and the donations right. that come in, uh, to keep our doors open, to save all of these animals and find forever homes for them. And there are some amazing stories about rescues and things that have happened and, and, and the support that we get from the community, uh, special surgeries and special needs animals. Um, it's, it's just astounding uh, the kind of supports out there, but even that commitment and the support that we have isn't enough to do it. Oh, sure. Here. So I we mean, have to do these kind of yeah, things. Yeah, and this is good stuff, and this also gives people information, education, and an opportunity to do things. It's not like we're just asking for a flat-out no, like, no. legitimate thank you and goodbye. you you, no. you got to kick back yeah, and socialize really with good. people. Yeah. How many pets do you have with us up at the shelter right now? Uh, right now, we're, we're, we're pretty much maxed out for the, for the staff that we have. Uh, right now, we've got about 14 dogs um, and about 60, 62 to 65 cats. Okay. I know as we're speaking, recording this right now, we're doing a cat adoption right now. Uh, one of the cats is going home to its forever home, which is great. Nice. Uh, but we also just had uh, a dog, uh, Eleanor. A hound dog that just had six pups. I saw that. She looks yeah. pretty good. She's pretty yeah. happy. She's a, she's a good mama. She's a good mama. Well, that's cool. And she lets you play with the pets yep. or the yeah. puppies. And, yeah, she, and she's a really that. sweet dog. And, and they're going to be great puppies, too. So uh, okay. They were down at the... Did she, she came in pregnant? She did. And we actually, we, we, we thought for sure she was going to have her babies any minute. Okay. Uh, it didn't happen. So then we thought, you know, you know, we should have taken her to the vet right then. But but then we thought, well, maybe she just had him and somebody dumped her. Uh, I think what happened is somebody saw she was pregnant and they yeah, dumped her. Right. And like and I and like I said, I know this is probably yeah. the most popular thing, but it's it's not the animal shelter. You know, you guys take on so much, yeah. you know, and I know you can go for days talking uh, about We got stories. So, yeah, oh, I'm <laughs> sure you do. So now that now what's on in the hit parade? I mean, it's October coming up. Yeah, well, yeah. with the with the Super Bowl raffle, we're going to do the drawing on October third. October third, uh, okay. which it happens to be the day of our next fundraiser, which is uh, the Great Pumpkin Run. Nice. Uh, which this is a really cool, fun family event uh, where folks uh, bring their dogs down. It's a five k fun run. We start behind the chamber. Uh, registration starts at 7, the run starts at 8. That's also the Harvest Festival in downtown Boyne City. Okay. It's Skitoberfest out in, uh, in, at Boyne Falls at the mountain that day. So there's a lot to do in the Boyne area that day. Uh, but you come on down, uh, you get a t-shirt for the first uh, 100 folks that sign up, get nice. a t-shirt. And um, you, you, uh, you pay the 20 bucks or the 25 that day. You can register early, save 5 bucks. Okay. Uh, we'll have prizes and awards for the best costumes and the best uh, dress dogs. Uh, nice. So it's it's a lot of fun. People so have a great time. Kind of like almost a little Halloween event. Slash it's kind of a Halloween. So if fall you, harvest. Uh, so if you register early, you save five bucks. Yep. It's a twenty dollar early registration yeah. fee. Now all the registration the fees day. are a suggested minimum. You can always pay more if you want. Oh sure, and that'd be going. <laughs> that'd be one of the um, you know benefits of donating and paying it forward. Yeah, that was really just kind of a joke. But you took it serious. I, hey, I, I'm a serious guy. <laughs> um, so, so what? Where, are, where is, where's the run going? Oh, they go down and like, back. Just okay. Yeah, no, they go. No, they go. They <laughs> just, <laughs> are you guys running around? Is it a? Uh, no, they go. go no, we, do, we, do our, we do two major runs. Uh, one's the Great Pumpkin Run, and we do in October, the first Saturday of October, and the other one we do in May, uh, which is the Saturday of Mushroom Festival. And what they do is they start behind the chamber, they go down Front Street, and they go out. Uh, uh, um, front to Lakeshore Drive and about halfway to Advance. Oh, okay. And then turn around and come back straight and come all right, back. Okay. So it's a lot of fun. We block off, got all kinds of security and safety and nice. Uh, and and, and our, we've had ninety-year-old people to. It's not a timed run. It's just a run. No, it's just a run. So you got it. 
But well, you know, runners. runners, there are certain runners that always take it serious. So oh, well, sure. we actually do have a time clock. We set up a time clock, but it's not one of those things where you got microchips and all oh, that. Okay. 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 It's not a sanctioned run. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll sanction it here. Yeah, so, yeah. so if you're legit, yeah, you want to be in the game, <laughs> we'll hook you up. But, you know, so that sounds like a good time. That's like a one of, that's kind of like a bonus stroll the streety thing too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. I mean, is there an activity going on? There's a, uh, well, yeah, the Harvest Festival is going on. Right, that's what it is. Yeah, there's a the farmer's market is going on. They block off the streets. It's a fun day in downtown. Boy, nice. nice. Real good, real good. But you don't got to be from Boyne City to do that. No, and if you've got our audiences, please come and uh, support all this stuff. Yeah, and get your raffle ticket. You can buy your raffle ticket that, that morning too if you come to the run. Uh, you can pick up a raffle ticket. We'll be selling them right up until the drawing uh, at uh, 4 o'clock. There you have it. So uh, if you see Scott, or I'm sure you'll have a couple of helpers, yeah. um, get with them and uh, you know try to keep it simple and you know, get a ticket and have an opportunity to win. I, I think I just got idea. I think I'm going to uh, decorate one of the dogs like a football player. You know, yeah. For the Super Bowl raffle ticket, you, you know, kind of... Kind of cross market that way. I like it. <laughs> uh, what kind of, how kind of, what team is he going to represent? Is he going to represent a team, or is well, he going to be a football guy? I'm a loyal, I'm a loyal home homeboy fan. I, I, I root for the Lions. Yeah. And the Tigers. Okay. And so it's potentially we could have a lion mascot. Maybe I'll, the maybe I'll decorate a cat. Cat that's closer to the lion species. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> you know, we don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something fun, so you should always It's always fun. If it ain't fun, we don't do it. And that's where we're going. So you've got an opportunity to go to San Francisco, check out the Super Bowl, check out some uh, fall activities. Hopefully it's a beautiful day. I'm sure it will be. It will shine. Um, anything else you want to say in closing? Well, at the, on top of all the fundraising we do, we have a, a wonderful pool of volunteers that come in and help out the shelter. Are so, you still looking for help? I see you are looking for help once in a while. Are you still looking for help? Uh, you mean for employees? Yeah. Uh, no, not right now. We just hired a great new uh, employee, uh, and we've got some really cool things happening with uh, uh, a veterinarian that's looking at doing some volunteer time there, too. Okay. No, so, I don't want to plug so that. So stay tuned. Or? No, no, no. Okay. Stay, stay okay. tuned. That's not written in stone yet, but... Uh, some neat things happened at the Humane Society coming up. In the well, future. there you have it. Um, if you want to get involved with uh, what we have going on, check out October 3rd. You get a chance to win a trip to the Super Bowl. Who knows? Maybe the Lions will be in there. Scott, yeah. thanks for coming on the thank show. Thank everybody who did yeah. support Dining for Paws, we do thank you for Thank that. you very much. And have a nice day.